Hi friends, I'm Pia Lee, a Community Manager of Discuss Agile Network. As you know, the annual conference for this year is scheduled on December 15th and 16th in Bangalore. This year we have four themes for the conference and uh, those are Kanban, Hybrid Agile, Coaching and Leadership and Personal Agility. Right now I have uh, Sudipta Lahiri with me who will be presenting a session on the Coaching and Leadership track. Sudipta is an accredited Kanban trainer and a SAFE program consultant. And he has over two and a half decades of international leadership experience. Presently, he is the senior vice president of Digite. Uh, welcome to the conference, Sudipta. Thanks, Piali. Sudipta, uh, before we discuss about the topic and your talk, I would request you to tell us something more about yourself. Um, so, like I said, my name is Shadipto and most people in the industry call me the Sudi. Um, I have been now there for about three decades now, uh, started my career from traditional um, project management, the way that we used to all start in the SDLC uh, cycle. And uh, over the years, I moved from services into product companies and I have been now with Digitave for over a decade. Uh, I look after the product management function for uh, Digitech. And uh, as part of that, we have multiple product lines and we have a team of product owners who, 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 who try and articulate what the future product roadmap is going to be, what the trends and directions are, things like that. Um, I also look after the, the, the Kanban meetups uh, that we have in India, which are called the Limited Web Society events. Uh, and as part of the Digite uh, uh, organization's initiative, we also participate and actively manage the Lean Kanban India series of conferences. So those are the three key roles. Uh, I do happen to also help organizations occasionally in their Lean Agile transformation journey. Uh, so if and when we get some time and we have the opportunity, we are able to do that. That about sums it up. Yeah, that's uh, nice to know about you. And yes, of course, uh, you are already a very known name for the Kanban conference uh, in India. We already uh, know you. Uh, Sudipta, the name of your uh, topic or the talk is, uh, damn, we missed the date again. A very catchy one. So what's the objective of this talk? So, uh... Most of us who have done uh, you know, software project delivery management before would have gone through this uh, iteration uh, of making uh, date commitments and then not being able to achieve them. And, uh, and the funny thing is that, that it's not only limited to the first commitment, but, by, but we often make a second commitment, the third commitment, and we keep on uh, getting in a challenge, uh, challenging situation where we are not able to make commitments even the second or the third time around, despite having a much better understanding of what needs to be done and what is the scope of the work that needs to be done. And, and, and there is something else at work that is, that is making this happen. Um, what is that mystery? Obviously, we are not inexperienced people. We have all done software development ourselves. We have uh, we, have, we have delivered software ourselves, yet we continue to make this mistake and continue to fall into this trap. Uh, so my session's objective is to try and help uh, teams understand what's what's happening inside, what what are the drivers, and uh, and why and what is the lean agile uh, body of knowledge. Uh, uh, putting into perspective this problem and how it can be set right. So that's what I want to talk about during uh, the session and take it from there. Interesting. Yeah, it's a very common scenario for many of us, like uh, right, not right. Uh, not being able to um, meet the deadline at the first right. go. It's a right. very common scenario. Uh, could you please a bit elaborate? How does Agile help us to get around this problem? So what happens in any uh, work uh, pattern is that uh, work gets executed uh, in a sequence of steps um, that we in the lean community call it as the value stream. And in any value stream, whether it is in re 
in, in, in classic repetitive manufacturing or it is in knowledge uh, services, uh, a value stream has a set of value added activities and a set of non value added activities. Uh, so whenever, for example, if you're waiting for a customer to give you a sign off, uh, you're essentially waiting for a sign off to come and, and, and that's a non value added activity as far as that particular activity itself is concerned. What uh, what we focus in traditional uh, estimation and and project tracking management is the is on the value added activities because the non value added activities more often than not are completely not in our control. So going back to this example, if you're waiting for a customer sign off, uh, it's it's really not in your control in terms of when you will get the sign off. So therefore. All our efforts and initiative to try and control the value added activities becomes a very inconsequential part of the overall time that it takes to deliver to business because the non value added activities are not in your control. And, and this pattern keeps on happening again and again, no matter uh, whether it's your first commitment, second commitment, third commitment. Because every time you're going to hit into a bunch of non value add activities. And if you don't know how to handle that, you'll end up getting into the same trap. Yeah, true, true. Uh, so, that I'm curious here uh, would this approach work for all uh, agile methods or does it apply to one over another? So, um, so, it's a good question in the sense that. It definitely applies, it, it is basically, it definitely is based on the principles of lean thinking as we apply it to the knowledge services. But because it is based on, fundamentally it is based on velocity driven tracking and velocity driven forecasting. Therefore, whether you are using uh, Scrum or the Kanban method, which are the two, um, I would say the two most popular team level uh, adopt uh, lean agility adoption methods uh, whether you do scrum or kanban uh, you can apply this thinking to it uh, clearly you need to perhaps if you're doing scrum you need to do a little bit of a value stream mapping and, and understand where your value and non value activities are uh, which can easily be done by uh, by by just value stream mapping your in progress stage and uh, typically that's what we call a scrum one. So whether whatever is the method, you can therefore apply to it uh, as long as you apply lean thinking to whatever is your project delivery uh, approach today. Okay, okay. So uh, I'm not sure, like uh, I would like to know from you only, um, how difficult it is to adapt this approach? Actually, it isn't uh, difficult at all. Um, in fact, I would almost uh, say that uh, once you understand the value stream mapping process and which is in concept doesn't take more than 10, 15 minutes to perhaps understand. Uh, once you understand the value stream uh, mapping process uh, and you are if, if you're already doing some level of visual management, which is to say that you are seeing your work on a board and cards flowing on a board as they progress from left to right. If you're used to the paradigm of visual management to introduce value stream mapping uh, into a scrum team is extremely easy. If you're doing Kanban, you would anyway be doing it. It would not be at all a new, uh, a new activity for a Kanban team. But uh, as I said, even if you're doing scrum to introduce a, a value stream map into your uh, a scrum process you know if once the team is comfortable with the idea should should hardly take less than an hour to figure it out that's nice uh, i hope uh, we can really apply this into our work life right yeah so before we wrap up this uh, conversation i would like to know uh, what are the top uh, two, three key learnings that uh, attendees can expect from your session? So obviously my first objective to make help would be to help people understand why this problem, right? Why are we repeatedly uh, falling into the strap of giving business commitments and then not being able to make these commitments? Uh, once we appreciate that problem, 
then my second objective would be to try and understand, uh, help people understand uh, the what are the key principles in lean agile thinking uh, that address this uh, problem. So that would be step number point number two. Actual methods of how one could apply it. So, so what are the what are the steps? Step one, step two, step three, step four. How can you actually implement it in your teams that way, so that you get away from this paradigm of uh, of missing deadlines into in, into making commitments that take into account your system, your system efficiencies or inefficiencies as they may be today, uh, and then predict a date. Uh, that you could be very sure of being able to commit to. Uh, we actually move from what we call as deterministic pro forecasting into probabilistic forecasting. So, so any date that you have an associated level of probability of success that you can then go back to the business and say, hey, this is not going to be just delivered on 31st of January. But you can also say now that I have 80% commitment that it will be delivered, 80% confidence that it will be delivered by 31st of January. That's a far more scientific and an educated basis for making forecasts uh, and being able to commit to them um, so that uh, your business and you both understand what is the risk and what is the level of uncertainty that is behind any particular given milestone date. So, so those would be the three key takeaways that I would expect for people who participate in that uh, session. Thanks, Sudipta. Thanks for your time, especially on this Saturday morning. And thanks for sharing about uh, your talk uh, with us. Thank you, sure. friends, for uh, joining this conversation, whoever is uh, watching us. We will have many such interesting and uh, useful sessions and workshops on the two days of conference to know more about our other topics and our speakers please do visit the website www.discussagile.com there you can have all the information about the conference and yes you can uh, register for the conference there itself so let's meet at the conference i'm looking forward to see you all there thank you and uh, thanks sudipta once again bye Thanks, Pierre. Bye-bye.